properly. Are you helping? Sometimes you don't have to go too far to get in touch with wildlife. We're cutting the hedge outside our house. And in doing so, discovering the nature that is literally on our doorstep. Now I'd expected to see not much more than a few spiders, so this took me by surprise. It's a southern oak bush cricket, originally from mainland Europe. This species was first recorded in the UK back in 2001. Can I get a little tub, a jar or something? You can wait in there until we're done. Spider-wise, I was expecting a good few false widows and I wasn't disappointed. Should we see what's in the bucket? No, but... What's in the bucket? The bucket is boring, says Bella. There might be a cellar spider in there though. No, there is a huge false widow. That's not huge. Go and find me a bigger one. That's, she's pretty big. I'm sure I've seen them. I regularly find them both here and in the house. And despite the English tabloid press doing their best to tell us how evil they are, I've never been bitten. We also found a couple of spider species that we've not seen here before. That is a baby woodlouse spider. Hello Mr Ewig. And a couple of the more common local species were present. Oh spider. We have a huge summer spider. Let's put it up there. Plus a harvestman. An arachnid. But not a spider despite its appearance. Bring it round before you let the lid off. And with the hedge cut, time to release the cricket. Where is it? There it is. There it goes. <laughs> so cool. A male and female pair of seven eggs. Bella! Another one! Male and a female now. Ooh, babies. <laughs> Can I hold them? You want to go back to your home? No, you're not going up my seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And in here, we have another deadly predator. Live in fear if you're a cabbage. Just now. <laughs> 